Hi everyone and welcome to web easy step tutorials. This is Ahmad Fakhr and this tutorial about how to upload PES 64 file to PHP. Uploading files or images from mobile app is a most common case in many projects. There are two ways to finish this task. One of them is the most popular match saver and considering as a best practice which is as follow first you will convert the file to base 64 string in your mobile application second send this string to the PHB ABI Third, the PHB ABI will convert or decode this string to a file and save this file on the PHB server. Then rename the file and send this name to MySQL server. This is the flow. But how we can do this on PHB? In this tutorial, we will focus only on PHB. So let's do it. The first step is to convert or encode the file to base 64 string. We can do this in any language. Let's assume that we have a file.txt but you can do it with an image or any extension. Let's open. It has a content web easy step. Okay. Now in PHP we will get the content with file get contents method. Then encode with base 64 encode function. Let's print the result to see what's the output. We will open the uploader file.php. We see this text. Now let's copy this text and try to convert it as a text file. Let's open the postman to simulate the sending from mobile app. If you in the real application you will send from your mobile application. Let's open new request. Then click on params and now let's open our file and this is the post key. Copy and paste the post key. It is Space scarcity for underscore file. You can name it as you want. Then in the value, let's copy the string and put it in the value. See here, it will add the base scarcity for underscore file as a key and then equal to the value this is string. Now choose post not get the json result is file uploaded successfully which means the file is already 
decode it. Let's open, give the same file with the same content. Let's have a look to the uploaded files table. It has the same name for the file. Now, the question is how we can do this. Here we have a three functions upload file mine to x database saving when we send the post it will call upload underscore file and send the post to this function here we check if the base 64 underscore file not sent then send another string now if we go to the upload file here we will add the specific pass to save the file we can create directory like images and then could point to this folder if we do this it will save on the target dial then we will decode the string in paste security for underscore decode function then we use fi info buffer which is a class in php we pass the decoded file here and we select the mime type to extract mime type and then we create a mime to extension function and pass the mime type to this function in mime to extension we have many many extensions with mime types when we send it convert all this JSON to an array then we make a loop and array search with the mime and value then we return the key let's see as example if we have and mime type like image gif if this mime type passed to this function it will search to the key for this mime which is jeff then it will return this key after returning this key it will pass to this extension variable then the file will create it with a unique name with the extension then pass it to the file dir which is the directory the unique name and the extension after this we create try catch to detect errors when we save the file how we save the file with file pod contents function it's take two parameters file underscore dir which is the full pass to the file then decoded file if it saved the file okay then we pass the file name with extension to database saving function and send file uploaded successfully message what database saving do it is a simple function use mysql extension to insert into uploaded underscore files table the 
file name colon with file name it will go to this table uploaded files and go to the file underscore name column and save the file with extension in this column i hope this will help you and i hope in the next tutorials create some tutorials for react native and how to integrate react native with bhb server finally if you like this video please support me with like subscribe or a question thank you for watching